<coughs> Today I'm talking about the <coughs> teaching of Christ. Other times I spoke about Lao Tzu, Buddha, Krishna, and other great ones. Today I'm talking about Christ. I know that uh, you have lots of uh, understanding and love about the teaching of Christ, <coughs> but I am going to approach from another viewpoint. When I read the teaching of Christ, um, I see a very strong principle there that is not uh, emphasized in, in religion. That principle is the freedom. If you read the teaching of Christ very closely, very deeply, you will see that in that teaching, from beginning to the end, he is uh, emphasizing freedom. Not only political freedom, social freedom, this kind of freedom, that kind of freedom, but an essential freedom. What is the essential freedom? Essential freedom is elimination of all those limitations and obstacles that preventing man to return to his divine nature. Everything that prevents you to be your real self, your essential self, is an obstacle, is a limitation, and the teaching of Christ is exactly how to eliminate these obstacles and hindrances to lead you total freedom. <coughs> <coughs> the situation in the world today, in the seven departments of human endeavor, politics, education, communication, art, sciences, religion, and finance. <coughs> In all these departments, you can see the lack of freedom. For example, let's take the first freedom. The first freedom is to be able to be the master of your body. If you are not the master of your body, you are not free. You are the slave of your body. So his intention was to urge and make us to strive towards mastery of our physical carnal nature. All, all blind urges and drives that are coming from our bodies must be controlled must be sublimated, must be transmitted. For example, once he said, be perfect as my Father in heaven is perfect. Now people didn't see behind these words the teaching for freedom. How you can be perfect if you are the slave of your physical body? How you can per be perfect if you are a slave of your emotions, negative emotions, hatred, anger, fear, jealousy, revenge, separatism, these kind of things. In all departments of human nature, you can see this slavery that is going on. And his intention was to make you perfect. What is the perfection? Perfection is elimination of all hindrances of all obstacles that preventing you to reach that perfection. Even sickness, physical body sickness, is nothing else but then slavery, lack of perfection. If your body is really perfect, you don't have sickness. And perfection is reached when you really dominate and conquer everything that in, in your nature is imperfect, limiting. So how you feel when you are healthy? You feel very free. 
If you are sick, you are not free. It's so beautiful. See. This is Gita Serdarian, and I would like to thank you for your interest in the Storkum Serdarian video lecture. We have books, booklets, and spiritual study courses on this very topic. Please visit us at our website, tsgfoundation.org, for more information on all TSG Foundation products and services. Thank you.